I'm going to try to explain the process of how the two programs Lux and Yak work together with the files that are in the code repository. So we have the calc.l file. Let's try that again. Okay, let's keep it that. Um, and then we also have the calc dot y file in the code repository. So the one on the left, L, is stands for Lex to be used with Lex, and Y stands for Yak to be used with Yak. So I'm going to draw a rectangle to denote that each of them are its own file. Let's use blue for the Yak program. And I'm just going to draw a little process there. Actually, let's use a different shape to make it easier to distinguish. So the program Yak runs the calc.y file and it outputs a couple different files. And the one that we're interested in is y.tab.c. And from the Lex program, we run the calc.l file. And that tells us, or that tells uh, Lex all the tokens we're interested in. And it gets converted to a C program with the name of lex.yy.c. So from there, we now have two different C source code, but we want a program. So how do we get them to combine together? Oh, that's, that's not a very well drawn out thing. Actually, let's do it this way. So we're using the CC program to link them. And this is a C library program. And what we have here are arrows just to say they get merged using this program. And we specify the dash O for output to say the name of the program we want, which I'm going to give it the name calc. And then what we have outputted from there is the calc program. And I'm just going to annotate here to remind you what each of these are. And so what you are doing with the uh, source code and what you're running in the program or in the terminal is three different programs in order to move from your token definitions. So let's maybe like go over that part. So in one file, you define all the tokens for the calculator, which would include alphanumeric letters A through Z, um, numbers 0 through 9, uh, either A through Z or 0 through 9 as a variable that can have either alphanumeric characters or numbers. So that's what the, um, the rules are here for saying the type of uh, tokens that are recognized. It's either letter, digit, or just um, a variable. And then for the calc.y file, instead of cat for showing the contents, I'm going to use less to be able to scroll through the contents. So less calc.y. So you can see here all the grammar rules that are defined 
So if we scroll down to where it has the additions and so on, we can see a pattern of the expressions. So this is the syntax rules that are defined in this file. Um, and then as an example, We had the expression, well, let's look at it. Um, the, the first token and the third token, uh, actually let's use plus to keep it simple. Expression and operator and expression. So it's two tokens that are recognized. All right, and then we can say the operation that happens with those is it gets added. So we could do something like that just to give us a note. There. So that's basically the big picture of what's happening and um, you know, the, being able to translate from the big picture to the exact commands that you're running is the translation that you're working with your brain here. And that's, that's the hard part. Once you get that, um, it, it should be pretty straightforward from there.